Island of Hawaii. Once more, bringing you another fantastic movie review. Mafuhi, The Last Samurai. This is a documentary, again, about, uh, you know, about uh, Toroshio Mafuhi, a fantastic Japanese actor who had uh, started acting uh, after World War II. Best known for his collaboration and uh, friendship and uh, basically uh, team-ups with uh, Kira Kurosawa, who was, uh, you know, Mifune was the star of, or at least one of the stars of, uh, you know, uh, The Seven Samurai, uh, Rashomon, and uh, probably best known uh, for Yojimbo, along with many, many, many other films. Um, this is a beautiful documentary. Uh, as you saw from some of the trailer, uh, you get insights from Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, uh, just to name a few, um, you know, directors who were influenced, admired uh, this man, this actor, um, who admired the work of Akira Kurosawa, who saw something in uh, Toroshio uh, Mifune, and uh, beautifully, uh, you know, placed him in his movies to uh, amplify a certain, I don't know, a certain type of hero, kind of the, uh, the lone wolf in a way even though he worked, you know, as a team in Seven Samurai, his character stood out. Uh, you also heard the voice of Keanu Reeves. He does some narration uh, in the movie. And, you know, I've been a fan of uh, Kurosawa films. I've enjoyed them. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, but the actor of Mifune, you, you know, I, I liked him. I never really knew much about him, and I never thought about uh, checking him out. But seeing this movie, seeing the way that he works on the screen, you know, in films such as like Musashi, uh, Yojimbo, you know, um, he's amazing. You know, that intensity um, is just something uh, to be admired. You know, and, uh, you know, hearing about his life, you know, in the war, Leading up to, um, you know, before he became an actor, out of how many people during, uh, you know, the end of World War II, um, you know, a lot of Japanese, you know, needed some type of work, some type of income, and he moved into uh, acting as a necessity. You know, he didn't want to become an actor. Isn't that the way it always is with the Taiga? something that, you know, they didn't feel drawn to it initially, but once they found it, they discovered that it was their calling. Um, again, this is a beautiful movie. It talks uh, mainly about Kurosawa's films um, and Mifune starring in them. Uh, it talks about, you know, uh, his life, uh, the fact that he had his own uh, movie studio produced his own movies and starred in his own movies and uh, even moved to television. Um, as much uh, flack as uh, the movie with Steven Spielberg directing, um, you know, 1941, I had no idea that that was Mifune as the evil commander, you know, when I saw it in the library back when I was a kid, you know. Um, you know, but even there, in that you know, crazy movie he had, you know, such intensity in his scenes. Um, listening to the narration about uh, Mufuni and Kurosawa, one can't help but uh, bring up uh, images of how John Wayne and, you know, uh, John Ford, you know, their collaboration of movies. They kind of made each other 
their star in their own right. Um, you know, and you can maybe even see that with Scorsese films and Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, whenever he's in one of those movies, he always shines. And that's the way it was with uh, Muffini. Um, you know, so you get a very well uh, documentary film here uh, that, you know, of course goes over his, you know, birth degree, childhood, and uh, then his long, uh, you know, movie career, uh, his trials and tribulations, things, you know, you know, I've never heard of that I never even thought about uh, looking at, you know, um, you know, his long marriage, you get some, uh, uh, you know, you get some commentary from his children, you know, his, his son, and, uh, you know, you, you come across finding out that uh, he seemed to be a, a very well-rounded individual, of course, you know, and you find out, you know, as was much the case with many veterans, uh, you know, the war did shape him a lot, and it affected him, and uh, you find out that, you know, he had some problems uh, with alcohol, you know, and, you, and one can't help but, uh, but maybe speculate that that had something to do uh, with his time in the war. You know, uh, that's not delved too much, but uh, in the uh, documentary, but you know, one can't help but wonder, and like I said, speculate that perhaps that's what had ha happened and occurred. Um, you know, but uh, definitely, this is a movie to see, so I would give it a shot a thumbs up. Remember our rating scale, shot a thumbs down, don't go see, shot a thumbs up, go see. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, it's like, hey, I've been watching this guy's videos, and uh, he only gives shot a thumbs up. <laughs> it's like, look, nobody's paying me to go see these movies. I want to go see movies that I think are good. I want to go see movies that I enjoy, uh, that I think I'm going to enjoy, that I think I'm going to like. So... If I'm going to go see a movie, I'm thinking I'm going to give it a shot of thumbs up. Uh, if it turns out to be bad, don't worry, I'll give it a shot of thumbs down for sure. But, uh, you know, I'm not wasting my money going to say, oh, some crap, just to, you know, balance out my shot of ratio here. But uh, this one is a really good one. I had no idea that it was coming to town. Um, when I saw The Eagle Huntress, which I had just done reviews for, um, I saw this very same... Uh, trailer at the beginning of the movie, and I said, wow, I gotta see this, when's it coming? And the next day, it was there at the theater, so I went back uh, again to uh, Kahala Mall, which is only showing these artsy films, uh, to see this movie, and it was great. So, I want to tell you that it was great. I want you to believe me that it was great. Uh, if you enjoy Japanese films, Asian cinema, this is a definite must-see. Um, even people who maybe have some interest in film, going into the film business, uh, directing, maybe cinematography, um, acting, especially, you know, check out this movie. Um, you know, Mifuni was, you know, a master at his craft. And there's so much discussion about Kurosawa and his films, uh, you know, from other people, in addition to Scorsese and Spielberg, it's like, you know, you can't help but gleam a little bit of insight into, ooh, what made this guy so good? What made people think, what made Spielberg and, and Scorsese say, you know, give this guy so much praise, and of course give Kurosawa so much praise? And uh, just, uh, you know, another aspect of this movie that was brought up was that uh, I had no idea that uh, instead of uh, Sir Alec Guinness as Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars, George Lucas actually wanted Mifuni to play Obi-Wan Kenobi. Not to mention the fact that Mifuni starred in The Forbidden Castle, which is what George Lucas based Star Wars off. Rogue One coming uh, next week. It's kind of interesting to, to go back 
and look at the influences, what shaped Star Wars, what shaped American cinema, as Keanu Reeves talks about, you know, I had no idea that Yojimbo, I liked it, it was a good movie, but it's like now I can see Clint Eastwood's Fistful of Dollars character in there, you know, that same silent toughness, you know, um, the same thing that, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, Last Man Standing uh, tried to show with Bruce Willis, you know, everybody wants and tries to duplicate the work of Mufuni. And like Spielberg said, nobody can touch it. You know, it's best just to look and see what you can gain from his, you know, from his his portrayal, and to try to use to help your own, but know that you'll never be able to reach, you know, or duplicate it exactly, reach that same level. Like he did, you have to find your own path, essentially. But you know these, you know movies where you can see inside, kind of the man, you know the mind of a man, that you can glean some insight that might help your craft overall. All right, well enough of my rambling. Uh, thank you so much. Remember, big shaka thumbs up for this movie, and uh, you guys take care. Christmas is coming. Rogue One next week. I'll uh, try to see it uh, and give you guys a review, but uh, don't see, don't be uh, expecting a shock of thumbs down. I'm not. Hopefully it'll be good. I'm sure it will be. All right, but Mafuni, The Last Samurai, definite shock of thumbs up. Go see it. All right, thanks a lot. Take care. Aloha.